What's up, everybody? Hello. Welcome to the show. <laughs> Today is July 9th, 2018. Can you believe it's July 9th already? Tomorrow's going to be July 10th. Get out of here. No way. Is yeah, it? Yeah, totally. No. Uh-huh. I don't believe that. I swear. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you liked that beginning, man. Yes, that was me on my bike yesterday. It, actually, it was a beautiful, beautiful weekend here in New York. To go riding, and mm -hmm. I took full advantage of it all day yesterday, and we did some riding on Saturday too. Not as much, but yesterday we jumped on the bike and we said, "Where do you want to go?" Right. Living on Long Island, it's like <clears throat> we, I didn't want to leave the island yesterday, knowing it was Sunday that everybody was coming home. Mm -hmm. You know, tomorrow night. Right. So I was like, I, I ain't doing that. Let's just stay somewhere out here. And go, but there's not many places anymore to go on Long Island as far as, like, we did it all. Yeah. 25 times, you know, a year. So, there's a beautiful road out here called 25A, and now the Long Island people out here know that road, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. And it's a great riding road. It really is. <clears throat> Especially is. if you take 25A to Sound Avenue, you know, and they take Sound Avenue all the way out. Right. And we're just riding. Next thing you know, we ended up in Greenport, and... uh Hung out in Greenport for a little while, and you know, I got Claudio's out there. Mm -hmm. The second best burger I ever had, because the first one is a village. Idiot. Claudio's has got new owners now, I heard. Oh, do they? Yeah. I'm out there the same burger. I didn't get a chance to eat it because I think I was at the village idiot on Saturday, and we ate yesterday before we went riding, so I, was, I wasn't hungry. But anyway, <laughs> then I got a call from a buddy of mine. He's at a, a new place out here called uh, Salt Shack. That's the old, um, what was that? The, uh, uh, beach Hut. The Beach Hut. Right. And so that that's near Jones Beach, between Jones Beach and, and Robert Moses, for those of you who know the area. So <clears throat> we took a nice ride back all the way over there. So we were on the bike all day. We put a couple hundred miles on the bike easy. And we had a great day, and it was a definitely a beautiful day. Don't, don't you agree? Mm -hmm. What'd you do? I, I was driving back from, where the hell was I this weekend? I <laughs> Robertsville? Cedar Rapids. Cedar Rapids. Campgrounds in Barryville, New York. Barryville. But you, you have a bike with you? No bike, right? No, we took, we fought, we, well, we had to schlep all our camping gear and stuff. Oh, but it's nice. actually on uh, New York State Route 97. Okay. And that is a beautiful riding road. Oh, yeah. Huh? Yeah. It must it, be. It rides all through the mountains, and uh, you can see the Delaware River. Nice. And it's got twisties and turnies. I, I posted, Excellent. I posted some pictures up on my personal page. Okay. I didn't really share it with uh, with everybody but right. uh, on this on this page, but it was a great it was a great weekend. Oh, so yeah. Definitely. Yeah. But you know what? It was actually, you know what? Happy Fourth of July to everybody. We didn't get to uh, have a show, did we? Wednesday, Thursday, for, no. The Monday before, yeah. you dumb shit. I, I know, but we didn't get to it say... Was it was July 2nd. We wished everybody a happy 4th of well, July. Well, now it's over. I hope everyone had a nice 4th of July. I still have my fingers. We, <laughs> so it was good. No, we did. We, we went, Again, we were at the Soul Shack. Um, we were at the Soul Shack three times in, in four days. Why don't you just live there? I know, right? But um, we thought there would be fireworks there. <laughs> and they weren't. But it was cool, though, because the Soul Shack right, is off Long Island. It's on Fire Island. Basically, right? Right. So we were able to go up on top of the salt shack. They have a deck on top. Okay. And look at Long Island and see fireworks, miles and miles and miles of fireworks. And then we got to see the Jones Beach fireworks. So. Okay. So that's good. That was it. Yeah, that was my uh, like four, my big 4th of July. I made my own fireworks this weekend. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> it was good. Uh, besides, you know, hanging out in the pool here, you know, me and Dawn just... Our neighbors had a party, and they had a band playing, right. like a Jamaican band. So we made pina coladas. We hung out in our pool and enjoyed their music. It was awesome. You have a and, pool? Yeah. I didn't know that. Oh, big pool out there. Big L-shaped pool. So yeah. that picture of you that you posted of you in the pool was actually in your pool? Yes. Oh. Yeah. And I'm at his... Yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. here every Monday, and I didn't know he had a pool in the backyard. <laughs> I'll be going in it after the show. So, like, uh, <laughs> come on, over, guys, come on. Mama Dukes, bring your bathing suit with you and Mama cool Dukes. off on last Monday's hot, humid. You may show. bring your bathing suit and we can drink a few beers in the back and whatever, hang out and whatever. So, unreal. So, what's up, everybody? <laughs> we are doing a couple of special things tonight. We're doing some giveaways tonight, right? So, I know. I'm pretty excited about them. These are pretty exciting giveaways. Yeah. Well, one of the giveaways, okay. It's for the Vet City Motorcycle Music Festival. That's going to be in Bowling Green, uh, Kentucky. And that's going to be October 12th and 13th. 
an event that you don't want to miss. Can you pull up the bands that are going to be there by any chance? I, I don't know if I can. We'll go on the Vet City uh, Facebook page, and they have the bands listed. Okay. I was going to do that before the show, but... It, well, I know Brett Michaels is going to be there. Brett Mi- and Geneva. Is and be Geneva. Uh, yeah, hello. And, and I'm wearing my Geneva shirt. Geneva. Ah. The cherry and custom made. It's not me, confirmed way. yet. Maybe they'll call tonight. But Twinkle just may be there, too. I know. So there's going to be a great. lot of great bands. This is an event you want to get to. And Strip Club Chop is going to be there. Johnny Lennox going to have his pole bikes there. Okay? And we're going to be there doing a live show. Right. And it's going to be one of those events that you got to get to. Yeah. All right? So this is what we're going to do. Okay? I got two sets of tickets. All right? One set is a, just a general admission to get into the, uh, to the event. Okay? To win those tickets... You're going to have to go onto the Vet City Facebook page, okay? The Motorcycle Music Fest, okay? And like and share their page and make a comment, okay? Then we're going to go through that and we're going to pick a winner for those tickets. Okay. All right? And that's just for, is that the general admission ticket? That's the general admission ticket. So we're giving away two of those. Two of those. The other thing we're going to do is we have two VIP weekend passes, okay? That's right. That you will be able to go anywhere you want in the VIP sections, okay? Um, an opportunity that you don't want to miss. And the way to win those tickets is you're going to have to give us a call tonight, okay? Mm-hmm. We want to hear the craziest, stupidest thing you've ever done at a bike week. I don't care if you're a man or woman. <laughs> We've all done some stupid shit. We have. Okay? So you got to have a story. And uh, you know what? Our, our fan base... There's a, a lot of people that have been to these bike events, all right? So I know you lost your shorts at one. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I did. Oops. No. But that really wasn't a stupid thing. That would have been something that Michael Allman. Right. He, well, he stupid. lost his shorts. No, no he well, ripped his pants well, and his ass was hanging out. This is true. And that was at Oktoberfest. That was at Oktoberfest. So, Michael Allman, if you want to be, <laughs> call, call into the show, uh, uh, I we, think have if, to, we have to vote. I think if Michael Allman says he's going to go there, they're going to welcome him with open arms without Yeah, tickets, no, so. I know. Which, that's going to be another thing because we have a lot of announcements to make that we're going to be doing stuff with our Michael Allman this year. Again, um, I don't have all the facts straight yet, and when I do, we're going to get him out there. And, you know, I talked to Michael a couple of weeks ago, and... He wants us to do some stuff with him, which we're okay. going to do. And uh, I'm going to get him to call next week, and we'll talk to him about what he's got coming up, and we're going to you know, see I, what we can do about well, that. I got to the, the band okay. listing. All right, so obviously we said earlier it's going to be Brett Michaels. Brett Michaels. Then uh, Gretchen Wilson. All right. We got Lita Ford. Lita uh, Ford. Oh, the Georgia Satellites. Good man. Uh, David Lee Murphy. Okay. Fog Hat. Fog Hat. Um, Devin Allman and Dwayne Betts oh. is going to be there. So. Okay, pretty Pat cool. Pat Travers. We have the Kentucky Headhunters. Okay. And Geneva. Geneva. Yes. Yeah. Big, I don't know, I don't know if it's Smo or Schmo or whatever. Big, whatever. I'm going to screw up that name. Big, big Schmo. Big no, SF. with Schmo. So Smith and Wesley, uh, Otis and the Louisiana Swamp Donkey. All right. Yahoo. So they're, they're, like, they're, they're good. A lot of the bands we know and some we don't. I know. But these bands, you know, we're going to find out. They're, they're, There's 14 great bands. bands at a two-day event. Yeah. At that Corvette Museum. At the Corvette Museum. And admission includes a, a tour of the museum. Yes. It's closed. The museum, those two days, is closed to the general public. Wow. So only people attending the event will be able to see as... Um, I forgot his name. I'm sorry. Was it Norm- Norman? What, the guy that called in last week? NJ and something? Oh, 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 oh NB, um, yeah. uh, my Nightmare? Yeah, Nightmare, that's it. It began with an N. No, no, Nightmare is different. That's no, something no. told him. Who's the guy that called in from Vet City? Oh, that's, um, ooh, you got me. I'm, so I'm sorry. Hold on. I have it. I know his name. It's uh, Monday, folks. Yeah, it's Monday. And, I'll, I'll, <laughs> and you hit me with one here. That's all right. I talked to so many people a day. Hold on. But he, he actually, um. And Larry Job. Yes, sorry. Oh, Larry. Larry. Okay. I'm going to tip my tongue. It's all right. So when he called in, he had said that. So that's a great Add on to your um, going to this, this event. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Plus, you know what? That's in the, that's the beginning of a an awesome event for us because we're going to go to Kentucky, and then we're going to go do stuff with Michael Allman, and then we're going to end up in Daytona Beach. I'm not sure yet what the strip club shopper situation is going to be out there yet. Right. But 
We will know. We'll definitely be in by We're going well. to Kentucky. We're going <laughs> to the fair. I love that song. Hey, I'm getting some fried chicken. I don't know about you. I know. You're getting yeah, bar- you I'm got looking, free barbecue. I'm looking for the colonel out there. You know, where are you, colonel? <laughs> All right. So our phone lines are open, 877-917-5263, to win two VIP. VIP tickets. VIP. <clears throat> That's all access. Except for backstage, maybe. I, I, I'm not sure what it's going to... Once we get um, the, a winner, then I'll talk to Larry and exactly what they won. Right, It's, it's VIP. So right there, you're going to get some special treatment. Right. So come on. You guys Johnny, have kind to of, have Yeah. So call in uh, during the show. Yeah. And Johnny will be rude when I'm talking and answer the phone. Yes. Yeah. Like he always does. Exactly. <laughs> so you got to have... Someone out... got to have stories. You got to have... You have a story? I can't be in the contest, though. I know, but I'm, of course, you're not going to be in the contest. Well, the stupidest story, was the most recent one, was me <laughs> giving Michael Allman my shorts. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. I really, so, don't, I really don't have anything stupid I've done at the bike event. Um, stupid. I'm sure there's something that Dawn can figure out. Like, wait well, a minute. I you're an asshole. I can't <laughs> remember some of the stupid shit I did. Right. I mean, I've done, like, raunchy stuff, but I wouldn't consider it to be stupid. Okay, so let's make it... Craziest, stupidest, raunchiest, whatever. An interesting, awesome story that happened at a bike week or a bike fest or a festival. An event. An event, a uh, rally. Or are you out just riding on your daily ride, maybe? Yeah. Just something absolutely unbelievable. Yeah. So we want to hear from you. And you know you're out there. So if you want those tickets to Kentucky, VIP, give us a shout. Plus, uh, around 820, we have Wayne Penix calling in tonight. And with Biker Trash Nation, he's going to talk about the Camel City Bike Fest, which is going to be September 8th. Uh-huh. So he's got tickets for sale as well. I don't know. Maybe we can get him uh, to, to donate one or two. What do you think? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see what he says. But he's calling in. And uh, that we're definitely going to be at that one as well. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, oh, yeah. I'm going to that. I already I already took the time off from work from Friday the 7th. Okay. Oh, you to did? drive there. Yeah. Okay. And then I'll be coming back on uh, September no, the day after, the, the ninth. Day. So you're going to go? Okay, so you're only going to go for one day and come back. Yeah, I'm driving down Friday the seventh. I'm probably going to do the same thing. Stay the whole entire show right. for the eighth, and then drive home on Sunday the ninth. Oh, that's gonna be a rough ride home. Oh my god, you ain't because kidding. you haven't hung out with these boys yet from Biker Trash Nation, boys and girls. I'm practicing okay. though at my yeah, campground. You can practice as much as you want. Man, I was doing a lot of drinking. Yo, know, I hope you like apple pie because they got some real I, good apple pie. Down I there. know, I heard, you know? and peach cobbler too. And if you if you and you better go hungry because they got some really good food too. And Biker Trash Nation family knows how to take care of us New Yorkers. They do. Us New Yorkers. Us New Yorkers. Us right. Yankees. Us Yankees. I'm trying. Uh, to, I'm trying to re-download the stupid app on my iPad. I'm having the most difficult time. Uh, for what? For Facebook. Oh, okay. Well, but I want to see what I want. So see you what can't. Happens. You can't see who's watching the show right now, then. No, hi. Who's watching the show? Oh. Uh, anyway. I'm. D- I'm going in. Hold on. I'm gonna have a uh, announcement to make as well. Coming up while making the. A deal with Nightmare Custom Cycles. We're going to be doing something with them as well in November. So, in November, down in South Carolina is a nice month. The weather's going to be gorgeous down there. Right. So, we're going to go down. I don't know if you're coming or not, but I'm going to go down as of right now to do um, a show from Nightmare Custom Cycles in Somerville, South Carolina. The date I'm still working on, it's going to be, it can't, it can't be the first week of November because he's not going to be here. He's doing a, uh, I think he said a chili cook-off in Florida. Okay. That sounds really interesting. But we will be there. Uh, I'll say more towards the middle of November. I'm going to be down there. So definitely check it out. So. All right. All right. And that's it. Good night. No. <laughs> do you... um What? Do you have uh, anything you'd like to talk about? Or are you busy right now? No, I, I'm just trying to get to where the goddamn freaking video is. I'm having... I'm, sp- I'm like totally spastic. Okay. I don't know why. She's I having can't. a moment, folks. Um, yeah, I don't like my iPad, and my iPad doesn't like me. But anyway, all right. So today yeah. is Monday. Hello. July, what is it? Ninth. Okay. So tomorrow is J- Tuesday, July 10th. No. Yeah, totally. No, I don't believe I'm that serious, too. man. No. So anyway, uh, I just totally lost my train of thought. Okay. So Long Island Debate has their, um, their regular meeting. Okay. It's the second Tuesday of every month. 
So the meeting is tomorrow for all, all you people here on Long Island that are members of uh, Abate of Long Island. Okay. Uh, you get there early, like at 6.30. They have a barbecue going, you know, burgers on the grill and what? stuff like that. And then uh, then the meeting will start shortly after that. And that's at the Hawkins Avenue uh, Firehouse uh, on the corner of Portion Road and um, Hawkins Avenue Excellent. in Ronkonkoma. Right. So we have that. And then uh, the Tilt to Kilt bike night okay. in Farmingdale, New York. This is local stuff here for all you guys. Um, you know, w- with Full Throttle magazine, because of the 4th of July weekend, right. it got moved um, to July 11th. Because you can't, you know, do anything on the 4th of July. No. That's on Nation's birthday, so hello. Um, and that starts at 7 o'clock, and that's at 2120 Route 110 in uh, Farmingdale, New York. Farmingdale. Yeah. yeah. So Tilt the Kill's got some good food, too. And the little and the little girls. I'm saying little girls because they're all little girls to me. The cute hot babes are in these little plaid kilt-like outfits with the boobs hanging out and yep. the little butt cheeks and the white socks, the little school school schoolgirl outfits. It's definitely going. something to check out. They're cute. <laughs> and, um, yeah, it's pretty popular over there. And they have free giveaways and yeah. uh, bike contests, driving bike contests. And then uh, what else do we got? Uh, in Pennsylvania. Roar on the Shore is coming up July 18th through the 22nd. Go to RoarOnTheShore.com. Go check that out. Also, this weekend, Fenton, our buddy Hammy there, okay, okay, is doing the Aiden Ride uh, West Virginia. Or well, yeah, in Virginia. the West Virginia one. Okay. Yeah, so we, we've been sharing all that stuff pretty much throughout on our feed and everything. So definitely go uh, check that out if you're in that area. Right. And what else we got? Uh, July 22nd, kickstands up at the Bald Hill Amphitheater in Farmingville. It's the sixth year doing that. We'll have, well, Motorcycle Mike, I'll be in the Motorcycle Mike booth. He's okay. also one of our sponsors for the show. Um, but we'll be there for that event. And that's a car show and a bike show. And they're going to have live music and giveaways. And all the money goes to uh, the, uh, the Suffolk County Homeless Vets. Excellent. Yeah, it's good. And then uh, obviously, uh, you know, the September 8th thing. Right. Um, Plus, don't forget, August 11th, we have the ride for 9-11. Right. In North Carolina. I believe that's Benson, North Carolina, I believe. Yes. So I'll be at that event also. Right. And then the day after that, I will be at the uh, 16th annual Sticky Finger Run, August 12th. Okay. Yeah. So you'll be at the Sticky Finger Run. I'll be at the ride for 9-11 in Benson, North Carolina with Jane Morris. Yes, I will. That is correct, and uh, that should be a fun time, you know. So yeah. So uh, Wayne should be calling in any minute now. We'll see what he has to say. Okay. And um, what else? Who? Anybody? You're not on the feed yet, huh? Uh, well, I don't know. I'm look. I, I'm trying now. It's got me. Um, wait, live. Yeah, there yeah. you are. I'm there. Who's I can on? see us. Okay. Oh, I can only see as they're commenting. Okay, so Christy Hardy, oh. hello from Texas Iron yes, Family. Yes, they, they, didn't they have a uh, bike event over the weekend? I yeah, believe? I believe they did. I think they did. Yeah. So if anybody from uh, Iron, or Texas Iron would like to give us a call, you know, give us a shout out to hear about that. And if you have another video, I'd love to play it on the air as well. That that's. Another I know, idea. you like seeing all those videos. You got yeah, to love it, man. I know. Those, those fuckers can party down there. I know. They're really good. Curtis Hardy is on. Jane, What's up, Curtis? Jane Morris is on. Hello, Jane. And we got uh, Tristan Gonzalez is on. Hello. And uh, Tristan. Rick Jones. Tr- Rick jo- Tristan. Tristan. And Kirby McQueen the second. Winston Salem, North Carolina. That's right. That's right. Oh, John Frewmaster is on. Yes. I know he hates when I call him that. Nah, I made up the name Frewmaster. He loves it. Okay. Well, he's in the call tonight, too. So we'll see what he, he is a Frewmaster. No he- updates on you know who, please. <laughs> Hey, you know who made us famous? I know, but we can't mention <laughs> you know whose name anymore. Ah, fuck that guy. Oh, and Paul's on too. Hi, Paul. Yeah, like, Paul sent me a picture of food just now. I know. Of course, he's going. Let me to. see if I can get it up there. It looks like he a, knows you love food. It looks like a big thing of bacon, actually. Denise is on. Hola. Hola, Denise. He's, no, Paul oh. is co- is from Rio. Rio. Oh. Rio de Janeiro. Oh, baby. really? That's right. Okay, now I don't know what this. Oh my God. Is that, Oh, what, Wayne's calling in. Hold on one second. Hello, you're on the air, Motorcycle Mayhem. Hello, it's Wayne Bennings with Biker Trash Nation. Hey, what's, what's up, happening, Wayne? Johnny? What's uh, happening, brother? How are you? Hey, Wayne. I'm good. How's, how's Mama? Mama's great. How's my what's Wayne? You? Hey, I, I was watching a little earlier before I got off so I could call in. Uh, I understand you like getting t- uh, bottomless at motorcycle rallies. That's hot. She oh, does. Yeah. She does. Yeah. 
She's bottomless right now, too, Wayne. Well, if you turn me upside down, I'll be bottomless. I, uh, I'm mainly topless most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh anyway, my God. but whatever. Yeah. You know. So what's, what's happening, Wayne? I got pasties. Pasties? No, you got to go full nipple. I mean, you can't be. I only got one, eat. so what the hell? Why not? Well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> So, Your friends call you Cyclops. That's right. Know. No, it's a Franken boob. Her breasts are oh. two sizes over here, so she won first and third prize. <laughs> wow. Best. I won first and third? First and third. What do I get for the bottom listing? Oh, you've never seen my hoo-ha. Uh-huh. So never mind. All right. Wow. Oh, boy. Anyway, so getting back to Wayne. Hello. Welcome. How are you? Calling in from uh, Winston-Salem. Winston-Salem. North that Carolina. Film. Can you put that little thing up there? So I, I will. Okay. Uh, yes. What do you got the going? The home of Biker Trash Nation. That's right. Okay, so what do you got, Wayne? What's going on, brother? Oh, man, you know, just hanging out. I uh, wanted to call in and remind you guys about Campbell City Bike Fest coming up on September 9th. I mean, oh. I'm sorry, September 8th. Yes. And, uh, man, we're excited. We got pre-sale tickets available. I actually um, uh, shared a link inside your chat a minute ago, so if anybody wants to uh, buy tickets. Um, also, if you can't make it, one of the things that we do with the money for Camel City Bike Fest is once all the bills paid is we have a charity that helps out veterans called Purple Heart Homes. Right. Okay. So once all the bills are paid, we're going to be writing them a check um, for a portion of the proceeds to help out our veterans when they get back from wars or need some kind of retrofit to the house or whatever they need. Just, these guys are always here to help them out. That's, that's, that's fantastic. A, that's a great charity. I actually looked into that charity from last year's event, and they do a marvelous job taking yeah. care of our vets. Feel good. I think it's great. That is definitely awesome. Love it. We just signed a new band okay. to go along with uh, our headliner, Big Engine. It's a it's a band called Them Dirty Roses. Oh, okay. And I'm telling you what, these guys, man, look them up on YouTube. They are amazing. Oh. If you like. Music like uh, Blackberry Smoke and bands in that type of genre, I love these Blackberry guys will Smoke. blow you away. All right, man. Looking forward to that. I met Blackberry Smoke when they were just not yeah, as famous as they recently. are. Yeah, Charlie Star is great. Oh, my God. Good band. It, it's a great band. Wow. Yeah, these guys are a bunch of young guys, man. I bet you there's nobody in that in that band that's over 24, 24, 25. But these guys just get up there when they – I saw them a couple weeks ago, and once they open a set, man, they do nothing but rock. They don't take time to talk. They just get up there, and they just they let you have it. Excellent. Force. It's, it's awesome. Beautiful. Uh, I can't wait to see them. I, I can't wait to see uh, Big Engine. That's Big a Engine great band you got great. there. Yes, now, sir. Now, you have, um, you have a bike contest, and you have – did you figure out what kind of contest you're doing other than, like, your t- the p- pin-up thing? You said you were going to change that out? Yeah, we're going to do uh, a, 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 the biker girl contest. So basically what it, what this will be like, we're going to ask the women to come in, to bring two different outfits. We want to see them in their leather, and then we want to see them in their just everyday rider, whether it's, you know, ripped jeans and a tank top with their, you know, uh, ladies hanging out. You right. know, we're not going to be doing any nudity, unfortunately, Johnny. I know you like to get up on stage and strip, but Damn it. not this year, bud. Damn. Thank you, um, God. Thank you. There is a God. <laughs> I am down but, um, 32 pounds, so. Okay, good. <laughs> we want to make sure that any woman who's part of the biker community can can get in this contest and feel comfortable being a part of it. You know, um, we got lady, we got a lot of ladies in Biker Trash Nation that ride, and we want to give them an opportunity to be be known, you know, be be uh, appreciated. So any woman who who, whether you ride your own or you just like to ride on the back with your man, you know, come out there and join the contest. I mean, you know. Worst case scenario, you win five hundred dollars cash because that's what the winner gets. Oh, wow, five hundred big ones. That's yep. that's a big cash prize right yeah, there. Definitely. That's maybe cool. I'll maybe I'll. Well, I can't enter. I, I'm there to work. Yeah, you can't. You're not allowed. I can judge. Can I be a judge? Absolutely. I would actually. I was actually going to ask both you and Johnny to both be a judge of this contest. That would be nice. fantastic. So yeah, that's going to be great. I'm in. You in? I'm in. I'm in. Of well, course. That's, that, that, that's uh-huh. if, if it's not supposed to have a, a hurricane. Uh, 100 miles away from us <laughs> and you decide not to come. Now I'm leaving on Friday. Come hell over high water. I'm renting a freaking car. If my car even... Uh, I already got it planned out. So I'm good. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> All fine. right. I'll drive through the rain in the wind. I'll get there. <laughs> 
Nothing hey, stopping how's me. Your, co your contest for this uh, this uh, thing that's happening up in Kentucky. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, I, I can't go, but you know, and then there's Bob. That's that's a great uh, story for a rally. That that is a great story for a rally. <laughs> that is Bob. Right, but Bob's got to call in and tell the story. Or, yeah, it's true. You know? I can't tell it because I already have tickets. Right. Yeah. You know? exactly. Oh, you're already going to be there. Yeah. You know, but um, that is a great story, though. You know, Wayne, would you care to tell the story since Bob's not on the air? Well, I, and Bob's Bob's driving. I know he probably won't be back this weekend. Okay. We were we were at uh, Myrtle Beach Bike Week, <laughs> and it was late. I mean. <laughs> We were out partying like rock stars. It was probably close to what one thirty, two o'clock. Oh, that's it, around there. Yeah, maybe later. Who yeah. Knows? So we're stumbling back out of Celebrity Square, and when you leave Celebrity Square at Broadway at the beach, you have to go over a bridge. <laughs> and if you've ever been to you know Broadway at the beach, you know they got these gigantic carts down yeah, there. That big. Oh my and, god. Uh, there's also ducks, but I guess the ducks were asleep. Were the ducks asleep? No, the ducks were there. They were like, "What the okay, fuck." They were, <laughs> you know, my my little redheaded companion just walked in. I couldn't remember. So hello, we said hello. Her. Yeah, she, they said hello. Hi. Um, so you know, we're sitting there and we're um, Miranda sitting there feeding the the cart, and then all of a sudden we hear a stream of water, and Bob was standing there pissing on top of the carp's head. Oh, oh so my god! Fun. Now you got you got to remember, there's like ten of us lined up. Okay. Yeah. And everyone's like, oh, cool, cool, cool. And then you see the piss coming out. And then, then Wayne goes, and then there's Bob. <laughs> <laughs> that is a great story. I laughed for like six days straight for that one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty funny. That was very funny. And that was a great night, too, with the dueling pianos. Oh, yeah. That was a great night. That really was. Oh, uh, yeah, that's, that's whenever we went into dueling pianos. And, and uh, Big Al took over. We walk in and we can't find a place to, see, uh, to uh, sit. We go upstairs and there's this VIP room with a bunch of uh, hipster geeks in it. I mean, I'm being nice, but that's what they were. <laughs> the man bun people? Oh, yeah. Oh, God. And uh, so Big Al, and when I say Big Al, Johnny can attest to this. Yes. Big Al's big. Yeah, but big Al, yep. Great yeah. guy. Great so guy. Big Al says, looks at one of the little hipster geeks and he said, hey, you need to invite us into your VIP. <laughs> and they're like, oh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, come on in. Come on in. Drink whatever you want to. So we had free booze, and we sat in the VIP section that wasn't even ours, but we took it over. Yeah, and there they gave go. us all that alcohol, too. Yeah. You got yeah. free booze? Free booze. I, I was looking, like, where did the alcohol come from? Because we didn't have it with us. You bullied the, those <laughs> kids? <laughs> Look, I sometimes you just need to use your size <laughs> to your advantage. You know, I'm only did. joking. This is what I'm explaining <laughs> to Margaret about. What? She has not met you guys yet. Okay? I said, wait till you meet them. When you meet the Biker Trash Nation family, they're going to treat you like you're golden because these are great people. Yeah, Go we're down. your family automatically. When you when you hang out with us, yeah. we Thank have you. your back and we treat you like one of our own. Now, you're going to have to be okay with getting picked on because we pick on everybody. Yeah. I mean, well, nobody, I'm, I'm, I'm not mean, immune from it. Nobody is. That's all right. Brutal, I'm easy, to, I'm easy to pick on. I'm... <laughs> Six foot tall, so you could start with that. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll make fun of all you people that are. And she wears uh, glasses. Below me. Below me. No. Below me. Below me. <laughs> Did you just say you wanted to blow me? She yeah, said okay. that. I heard that. <laughs> My girlfriend's laying right beside me. What are you doing? I heard that, Wayne. I'll blow her too. Oh boy, here we go. Oh, she said she'd blow you too, huh? I don't. I don't take. You know, take. What's the word? I don't have sides. I. What's the word? I like everybody. Yeah. Okay. okay. She's there out go. there. Uh, yeah. Whatever. She doesn't discriminate. I do not <laughs> discriminate. Oh man! Hey, so wait. So what's up with the tickets you got uh, for the event? How much are they? They're five dollars. Okay, five dollars. So I mean, listen. It, again, I, I can't stress this enough. Right. If you can't come, you know, just go ahead and buy a couple of tickets and just look at it as a donation because that's what it's going to turn into eventually. Exactly. Once we get the bills paid. We're gonna. We we really want to take good care of of them this year, and uh, that's what that's what we're going to end up doing. Excellent. That's such a great cause, and you know what? That's this is what I'm talking about with Biker Trans Nation. That's what they're doing. One year they he went out. And he, how many bicycles did you gather that time? Uh, well, right at three hundred. Three hundred bicycles. That was amazing. That wasn't amazing, yeah. right? So you guys are awesome people. We love you guys. We're very proud to know you. 
and we cannot wait to get down there to see you guys again. I know. So uh, I will see you. I just talked to Jane Morris. Uh, okay. Shout out to Jane. I hope she's doing well. Yep. Um, Biker Trash Nation is going to show up at her event in August. Okay. So uh, I, heard, I think she said you got one of you guys might be coming down. Or I'll something, be. So. I, I will be there. And, and so I have an event the very next yeah. day, so I can't be at that one. Right. I have to get up well, really early. Hey, that's more barbecue for me. Oh God! Just that's bring right. some home in a doggy bag for you me, know? please. <laughs> Thank oh, you. Oh, and that's that's that that's closer to Eastern barbecue, so it's a totally different kind of barbecue than what you're used to. Oh, okay, all right. Yeah, so you'll be trying some new barbecue this time. Some new barbecue. Hmm. I can't wait. <laughs> I'm sure you. I'm sure you, you could wait. Ah. Uh, he's losing. He's losing all this weight just for these events. I am. I lost up. 32 pounds, Wayne. And I'm looking. I'm to, proud of you, Johnny. Thank you, sir. Really good. Yep, and, and I want to get down to 250, and then I'll be eating my ass off again. And his bike runs a lot better now too, since <laughs> he lost all that weight. <laughs> it doesn't bog down. Yeah, nope. I can understand that. Speak, speaking about barbecue places, a real quick shout out to a uh, uh, Camel City, right? Uh, CCBF, right? Camel City Barbecue Factory. Yeah, That's we were. Right. Uh, me and Big Al were just there down there Saturday eating. Yeah, let me get rid of this so I can I can show the bottom. I forgot the <laughs> there it is. Camel City Barbecue Factory, they yeah. catered the, the, the bar of Baggers Saloon. Mm, right. When, they, when I did the show down there, and that food was off the charts. So definitely check those yes, guys sir. out, too. Oh, yeah. yeah. And Steve, uh, from what I understand, Steve's putting together, uh, Steve Dumas is the owner of Camel City Barbecue Factory. He's putting together a food truck, and the food truck will be at Camel City Bike Fest this year. Oh, awesome. Yeah. So you might be able to get some more of that mac and cheese. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. It was so good. Everything was so good, man. And, uh, <laughs> but yeah, so everybody, check it out, man. Camel City Bike Fest, September 8th, $5, hours, and you're donating that money to a great cause. So go, you know, if you, even if you can't go, you can donate. How do they get tickets, Wayne? They contact you or? They can contact me. I can give them the link through Ticketmaster. Um, if they're local, when we start, ha- we, we got a live event coming up on the 19th. It's okay. a, uh, at our Ted's Kick and Chicken Takeover for Bike Night on a Thursday night. Okay, we'll have a, a best chess contest for the ladies to watch mm-hmm. the the guys oh. show off their chest, <laughs> and then we're gonna have a Daisy Duke contest so we can see some of them nice uh, do a little booty popping. All right, That's right. right. All right, we want to see some of them Dukes. I, I, I'm down for that. Okay, yes, sir. Yes. But uh, yeah, so we will definitely see you uh, at the 911 ride August 11th, and then again, and then. We'll see you September 8th at Camel City. Almost a month apart, Mark, just in case you didn't know. Okay, thanks. Okay. You know, sometimes, you know, your head's in the clouds. And I gotta well, I used to be blonde, so that's okay. Okay. Yeah, well. I, that's fine. But, uh, <laughs> I'm still in a fog. I want to go back to the fog that I was in this weekend. Okay. It was actually pretty good. I had a yeah. lot of fun. Uh, okay, Wayne, so listen, we're going to let you roll, brother. All right, man. And Thank you, you, Wayne. You have a great night, and we'll see you soon, okay? Thanks a lot, guys. All right, take care now. All right, see you. Bye bye. Yeah, so Chris Chris Hawkins is on Chris right Hawkins. now. Okay, no Hawkins. Hawkins, Hawkins, Hawkins. I whatever you can't pronounce things. Hawkins. Lisa Flug is on. Hello, Lisa. And I said I think I, I mentioned what well, Tristan made a comment that there's a bunch of us watching. LOL. I don't know what. Hello, that means. a bunch of you. I don't know what that LOL means. It means but like, maybe they're watching us naked or something. Maybe they're naked? Yeah, maybe that would be nice. Well, if you're naked, we can okay. actually uh, play other pictures. And I know, right? <laughs> so Dale and Barcy uh, Spigner are on also. Oh, look, I'm on. That's me, Margaret Nicosia. Okay. <laughs> She's on. She's on fire. Oh, I'm on. Yeah, oh, but did anybody watch oh, the yeah. History Channel yesterday? That was awesome. Holy shit in my pants. That looked awesome. I wish I got to watch it. Okay. Travis Pastrana. From Nitro Circus, okay, recreated the three most famous jumps for Evil Knievel, like and the one from Caesar's Palace that he didn't complete, but he actually did it. I mean, there was a lot. It, it was a two-hour show, and I pre-recorded it, so um, I did get some sneak peeks from Chris Callen, who was down there live on the scene. Chris Callen from Cycle Source Magazine awesome. was actually doing face Facebook live videos for the first two jumps. So I already kind of knew, and I just had uh, the Mountain Man record everything um, so we could watch it later Okay. for the big jump. But we did watch it. A lot of interesting history with Evil Knievel. I know the new Evil Knievel Museum is open. I forget where it is, but whatever. Okay. It was on one of our past shows. We talked about it. But this event yesterday, and it was actually live. So this guy, 
He's got like more broken bones than and metal and everything uh, in him. They gotta have broken bones. Then Evil Knievel did. How do you practice this shit? You, have you to, don't. You I don't. mean, but if you watch what the guys do in Nitro Circus, you know they're professional. You know stunt riders. They they go all over and they put on these shows. You know with the you know with the BMX bikes and they do all the flips and whatever. This kid is 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 badass. Well, how old is with, he? I don't know. I call him a kid. He's in his 30s, oh, okay. I think. Or, he's a, he's a kid. Yeah, he's a kid. You know, he's married. He's got a little kid of himself. Okay. But they were describing all his injuries from previous jumps that he had done. But he actually, the Caesar's Palace one that he did, over, recreated over the fountain. Right. Um, he did it on an Indian, uh, Indian, a full-size Indian motorcycle. Wow. That weighed over uh, 350 pounds. Wow. So that's kind of hard to do. The other ones were with the, you know, the BMX bikes. He jumped over a bunch of cars and okay. then he jumped over 16 Greyhound buses, wow. you know, broke the record or whatever it was. But it was, he really made it look too fucking easy. Like, like a kid's going to jump on his bike and, yeah. and try yeah. and do it. And they do it. It was so perfect. Did he break any bones yesterday? No, he didn't break nothing. Oh, that's good. No, there was no injuries whatsoever, but it was just an amazing thing to watch. Yeah. You know, that, it that, really That's was. really cool to watch. I love shit like that. You know, I heard about it, and I, I was on the mic myself yesterday, so I never got to watch it. Mm-hmm. So, you know. All right. Well, you know, you were doing what you're supposed to be doing. That's right. I was I was recoup- I was was actually dri- I was driving back, but it was on at 8 o'clock at night. You weren't home by 8? Nope. Oh, so you were out partying the whole time? We were gone all day. We got home probably around 9.30. Okay. 10 o'clock last night. But you know what, Moby? Thanks, thanks for inviting me. You're welcome, but you weren't here. I know. But thanks for inviting me anyway, so I could turn you down. <laughs> Well, we had a call. On. I didn't have to interrupt you, as you see. Mm-hmm. And Go we're right gonna ahead. Call, we're gonna call them back. It looks like uh, California. California. Ooh, California. Yeah. Whoever tried calling earlier, and we had a caller on the uh, talking to us. We're know. calling you back, so be prepared. I don't know if this is it. Well, uh, maybe it's a spam call. Maybe. Oh, let's turn this on. Huh? Yeah, it would be nice. Please send this opportunity. Please press three now. It was a spammer. No, we no, got spam. That was a low, that was the wrong number. Hi. Oh, we, I was. Okay, here it is. This is it up here. Yeah, usually. Right. Are you there sure you that's go. the right number? Yeah. Yeah. And don't yell into the phone and scare this per- per- person, okay. whoever it might be from okay. California. Uh, it's not California. Oh, whatever state. It starts at seven two four area code. So whoever called. Hello. 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 Johnny. Oh, it's the fruit master. <laughs> no, actually, it's Mike Axel. Oh, what's up? How don't are you? mention that man's name. No. <laughs> Just say M.A. so we know what you're talking about. <laughs> What's going on, brother? Yeah. Uh, I just had a hectic week, and some source called me up on Friday morning about 11 o'clock, and he says, he goes like this, he says, hey, man, can you do me a favor? I said, sure. He goes, can you go down to Louisville and pick up a frame for me? Oh, my God. I'm like, yeah, okay. Wait a minute, Louisville, Kentucky? Oh, my God. He goes, yeah. So I said, all right, I'll pack a bag. So I went down to Wills from Faith for God and Choppers, who right. is the guy right behind you on the Cycle Source poster. Okay. If you turn around and look at it. And uh, Him. anyways, I get down to the shop about 7 o'clock at night, okay. and we're hanging out, and who comes pulling in but Bobby Siegel and uh, Beaner. And being oh. it was because it was Aiden. It was the first Aiden ride. Oh. Aiden has a posse ride yeah. in Kentucky. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Excellent. Bobby yeah, so Bobby Seager, like, for everybody uh, doesn't know, owns Indian yeah. Larry motorcycles in New York. Right. So I hung out with those guys for a couple hours, and then finally I had to get home. So I turned around, drove home, got home seven o'clock in the morning, and then I took a little nap, and then I had to go to the racetrack for the rest of the weekend, but. Yeah, it was pretty rough, but yeah, Chris uh, got another frame. He's building a bike for, I believe it's the Michael Wicker Show out in Sturgis. In oh. Sturgis. I thought he had started, didn't he start that build? He was doing two builds at the same time, what, a Twisted T-bike and... Twisted T, one for Progressive, and then this one here. Okay. Wow. So they're all... You better freaking hurry up, that. man. Sturgis is a month away. He'll get it done. I know. <laughs> Chris is good that way. Chris is good it. that way. So that was very nice of you to do that. Yeah, excellent. While you're down there, can you do me a favor? <laughs> no. Can you run down to Colorado and grab me something? So now that you drove all the way to Louisville, Kentucky, to pick up a frame, yeah. why don't you go down 
to Bowling Green, Kentucky, and go to the Vet City Motorcycle and Music you Fest. you got to go to that one. Man. October 12th and 13th. I'm probably taking my Corvette. Why don't you do that? Because they're going to have a car show there, too. Yes. Corvettes. I know. Well, they have a racetrack there. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, I'm driving around there, I think so. So, bring your Corvette and pull your bike with it, right? <laughs> no. Well, well how do your Man, bike pull your Corvette? It's a race car. It's not a street car. Oh, okay. Yeah. That would well, be great. I'm thinking about it. I, I, I might be able to do that. That would be great. You, you know? should do that. That would be, and then you can check out the uh, Corvette Museum if you haven't already done that. We'll be down there. I've been there, done that. Mm-hmm. We'll be down okay. there hanging out and doing a live show. And uh, You're going to be doing a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff down there, yeah. You know, mm-hmm. hanging out with Brett Michaels, you know. So, shit. You know. Oh. Yeah. No. Brett She'll be Michaels. Her Brett Michaels will be there, yes. Yeah. And Lita Ford. And Lita Brett Ford. Michaels is from, Brett Michaels is from Butler, where I live here. Is he really? Very yeah. Cool. Very cool. He played. Brett Michaels played the bike night for me here at the Butler Fair when I used to do the Butler Fair bike night. Oh, really? That's awesome. Interesting. I, I saw Brett Michaels play uh, Leesburg Bike Week. Ago. He's a real nice guy. He's a nice guy. And he rides. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Did I ever tell you my? Did I ever tell you guys my story about Leesburg? That's one of my funniest things at a bike fest. Nobody cares. But my thing <laughs> here. <laughs> I know. I'm my, my my funny story at a bike week. Okay. Is Brett Michaels was playing in Leesburg. Now, right before that, I went to go visit my mother in the villages, and, and people know who one of the villages is. Crazy over there. You, yeah. And outside of a restaurant, they have all these cows, okay? They're fake cows. Like, they're, they're, they're cement cows or whatever, plastic. So I went up behind a cow, and I saw the mountain one, and my wife took a picture of me, you know, doing a- Mountain a, a cow. Yeah, doing a cow. A fake cow. A fake cow, okay? So what happened was, we go to the Leesburg- yeah, and Johnny, a real man would have did a real cow. There was exactly. one there. That's my point. If there was one there, I would have done it. All right. So anyway, you're fucking a fake cow. So I'm I mean, fucking you... a fake cow, right? <laughs> right. So what happens is the um, Brett Michaels, before he comes on, they have these screens on the side of the stage, these big ass screens. Right. And they're like, you know, tweet a picture, we'll put it up. You know I mean? <laughs> no, you didn't. So I put that picture up there. All of a sudden, pow! Right. You see, you see all these couples. Nice couples together, you know. <laughs> another nice couple, another nice couple, and then me fucking a cow. Was the right on the screen? Right on the screen. It was oh on both sides God. of the stage. It was bigger than this wall. It was. It was so fucking funny. Mm-hmm. People were laughing their asses off. That was that's that was my story. All I right. Got. Well, that's pretty funny. All right. Yep. So real quick before he gets off the feed, a very good friend of mine, Jack Ficaro. Hi, Jack. Hello, Jack. Um, is watching. I just want to say hello and acknowledge his presence. Oh, that's what you want to do? He oh, was yeah, my first Jack. customer when I owned a hot dog truck called Miss Margaret's Munchables. Were you that one giving up the sex things? No, no that, that was one. those Asian ladies. Oh, okay. That's the massage you get a hot dog across and a the hand street. Job. No, <laughs> I didn't do that. No, but he actually was my very first customer uh, and very good friend. Okay. So I just want to say hello. Hope it was a good hot dog. What? Hope it was a good hot dog at least. Oh, I made the best hot dogs and sausage and peppers in town. John Fru loves hot dogs. Okay. Right, John? We're getting off the topic of what the show's about. We're talking about food again. That's okay. We're always talking about way, food. John, on my way down, on my way down to Will's shop. Right. Remember I sent you a picture last year when I was going to Nashville? Right. And, yes. Uh, of that. The guy had the barbecue stand with the, yeah. in the, uh, with the camper. Yes. Well, I went past there and he wasn't there, and I oh. was sort of bummed out because he had the best smoked potatoes. Oh, gee, smoked potatoes! Oh my God! You could smoke yeah. anything, man. I know, man. Yeah. All right, so let's so change the subject. A little bit of garlic sauce. On oh my God! Good right. job. So, all right, so, so Johnny boy, I'm gonna let you roll. Okay. And we'll talk to you real soon, okay, buddy? Thank you for calling in and and sharing your uh, Bobby Seeger Beaner story. Yes, awesome. And, and Will, and Big Will, you got to remember Big Will from Faith Forgotten Choppers also. So. No. That's right, oh, Faith yeah. Forgotten Big Choppers. Big Will. I went to. He's Big Will. He's cool shop diner, man. He's making the, uh, actually Will's making the Harley shops in local in the town there uh, nervous because he's getting a lot of work. All right. There you go. And Excellent. taking their work because he, he does pretty good work at his shop and he has some really qualified guys that are working there and he takes care of everybody. You know? Nice. Excellent. Well, next time you see so, Big Will, you tell him that he sits behind us every show. Okay. Let him know that. that dude. When I was down there, as I was telling him the story of the 
Mike Axel incident in the yep. National Bike Week, I was telling him, and I said, oh, by the way, you are on Motorcycle Mayhem every week. Oh, nice. He's like, I'll, I'll check it out. Yeah, awesome. All right, cool. Very cool. So, so all right, so uh, I'll yeah. talk to you. I'm sure I'll talk to you during the week, my friend. So, <laughs> I'm sure. You have yourself a great night. Okay. All right. See you later, have buddy. Good night, guys. Bye. Good night, John. Bye. So Tim Ford is also watching, oh, Tim. and I love, you know, watching his posts and stuff that he yeah. makes. Yeah. He's pretty funny. So now apparently he's Tim. If you want to call in, which would be nice because we haven't heard from you in a while, mm -hmm. he's thinking about actually doing some flat track racing. That'd be cool. Might not be a bad idea for you to get in touch with uh, John Blackstock. Yeah, because be he's the nice. flat track master. Yes, he is. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. But uh, once again, I just want to remind people that we are giving away tickets today for the Vet City Motorcycle Music Fest, October 12th and the 13th in Bowling Green, Kentucky, okay, at the National Corvette Museum. So you want to get, on, get in on that. We're giving away regular GA tickets by, if you go on to the uh, Motorcycle Music Fest, the Vet City Motorcycle Music Fest Facebook page, Right. you like their page, you share their page, make a comment. And we're going to pick a winner for that. Plus, we have two, two VIP passes for the weekend. Uh, for somebody who wants to give us a call, has the best bike week story. Crazy? Right. We, we have to pick the best story. We have to pick one, yeah. If we get multiple callers. Yes. Crazy? Right. Dirty? Whatever you want. The most outrageous story. An outrageous story is right. Yes. Just the most outrageous story story yes. of your biking adventures so give us a call at 877-917-5263 and you know what you can win those tickets man and you don't want to miss this event this event is gonna be cool we got uh brett michaels playing Lita right. ford playing right so many georgia satellites playing mm -hmm. so many big bands fog hat and uh some original members of the Allman brothers well right? well Dwayne Norman's going to be there right. and Dickie Betts. Yeah. Don't want to miss this event. So give us a call, man. Give us a call. You want to hear these stories? You got to have them. Yeah, I just told one, and that's probably nothing compared to some of these people that they've done out there. I know. You know? Hey, does our screen look blurry or is it just me? That's you. Oh. No, we're good. You good? I thought maybe we had a little smudge on the lens. No, we're perfectly clear on this. So, end. all you women out there, how many of you went brawless today? Today was National Brawless Day. Oh boy, I went brawless. Yeah, well, it's not about the guys; it's oh. about the women going brawless. Oh. Today was uh, No Bra Day. National oh. No Bra Day. National No Bra Day. Yeah, and also it's a reminder for women to get their annual mammograms. Don't forget. Ah, that's what I have. Save it. the tatas. That's right. Save the tatas. Yes. Right. Go brawless for a day. Give those give those puppies a break. Excellent. Right. Well, who else do we have uh, watching the feed? Can you see? Um, no. I don't know. Well, Denise is on. Denise. Why don't you uh, give a shout out to them? Well, yeah, we have the group pages. Yes, we do. Right. What so do why don't we do that real quick? Okay. Well, you know what? We have two pages that we uh, run here. One of them is called Bikers Live to Ride, Ride to Live. And the other one is called It's a Two-Wheel Thing. So check that out. You know, we have our awesome admins. We have Jane Morris. We have Fate McKinney. We have Dennis Engelbretson. How? Now you got her first name wrong. And her what last... What did I say, Dennis? You said Dennis. Dennis, what the fuck's wrong? <laughs> Denise, sorry. Denise, <laughs> Denise ain't watching anymore. She hung up. Denise, Denise thank God you're not <laughs> watching right now. Denise, <laughs> 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 Dennis, the fuck is wrong with me? We have Hondo, Rod Freeman. Of course, we have Steve Parker, mm -hmm. the candy man. The guy makes some great candy. Oh, my God. So, yeah, those are our admins for those pages. Check out both of those pages, and you know what? You'll love them, man. They're really great pages to be a part of. You know, so yeah, the, the group pages. So you have to search in groups. Yeah, search but in the, the groups. pictures that he showed you there. Just look for those pictures because those will be there, so you know it's us. Yeah. So, and again, the Vet City. There it is, right there in front of you. I keep forgetting to put that up there. So now well, it's you up. should. So now you guys can see it and keep it up there for a momento, yeah. so they can actually. Can you see the is the the website on there or the Facebook page? Oh. But this way you guys can see that little logo uh, for the profile pictures when you're searching on uh, 
Facebook and you yeah. just type in Vet City yeah, pop Motorcycle up. Music Fest and it pops right up. There you go. There you go. So we got Vet City. We got Camel City Bike Fest. We have a lot going on coming up. The ride for 9-11. Uh, mm-hmm. Didn't somebody win a race this weekend? Huh? Wasn't there a race this weekend somewhere? Um, well, there was a race this weekend. Pete from R&D Racing was uh, doing the Harley Nitro uh, drags at New England uh, uh, Speedway in New Hampshire. Right. Um, he made it and qualified all the way to the finals. He did not win that the event on Sunday. Okay. But he, he qualified and made it to the NHRA finals Excellent. for that. So that brings him up higher in the rankings for the next race that's fantastic which i don't know when that's going to be that bike is beautiful i know it's a fast bike it is a fast bike it's a very fast bike oh uh, yeah i'll have to uh watch them one day it was a great weekend uh, so anyway anybody out there want to give us a shout give us a shout at uh 917-877-917-526 i gotta be still over 877-917-5263 call us give us in. a call maybe you could keep the phone number on the screen yeah so when i do that it blocks the screen though so oh Okay, well, 877-917-5263. There it That's is right there. It doesn't block too much. What does it block? It blocks that a little bit. That's yeah, yeah. all right. So keep it up there. If anybody has a pair of balls or whatever, wants to call in, yeah. and, you know, you don't have to say your name. You could just tell your story, but you could private message us your information right. if we choose you. As of the winner for yeah. the VIP passes, because that's what you can win, the VIP tickets, by telling us your story, but you have to call in. Right, and then after the show, I'm going to go look to see if anyone shared their page, Right, and then we'll, we'll pick a winner from there. For the general admission For tickets. the general admission. Right. But the VIP tickets, you got to call us with a great story. And if you don't call us tonight, you can call us again uh, next Monday. Yes. I mean, it's not until October, so check your availability. It it would be a good idea for people that were actually planning on going Mm -hmm. October 12th and 13th. Yes. So this will save you a a decent amount of money by winning, uh, you know, that VIP upgrade. Exactly. Other than general admission. Yes, definitely. Yeah, yeah. it would be good to do that. But uh, you know what? I think that we're a good opportunity right now to go to commercial. Yeah, go. That's a good idea. All right. We'll be right back after these words. Oh, we're not Wait, commercial. we're back. Hold on. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. He didn't he want to play. He pushed the wrong well, button. We got a phone call. Oh, perfect timing. Yes. You are on the air, Motorcycle Mayhem Radio. Who do we got? How you doing, man? I wasn't going to tell you who I am yet. Okay. Okay. About what's your story? Well, what my story is, uh, this has been a long time ago. I was at the Longhorn Double uh, Motorcycle Rally way back in the day, and uh, I was riding my shovel head, and I get up in there, and I meet this little girl, and she's selling snow cones, right? Okay. <laughs> and these snow cones are, uh, I don't know what the fuck she was putting in them, but it was great. <laughs> and uh, I, I ended up partying with this little girl pretty much all night, and... Ended up uh, rolling my bike into this one little place that looked really cool to take a nap, man. Laid down by my bike. Right about 7 o'clock in the morning, I got these guys. Hey, man, you got to get out of here. Okay. What the fuck you mean I got to get You got to get out of here. Okay. Why? Because this is where we're having church this morning. Oh, oh. my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I love it. <laughs> Oh, hey, man, this is Curtis with Texas Iron Man. Oh, hey, Curtis, Curtis, what's I up, knew, brother? I knew it was you. That's that's a funny ass story, man. <laughs> oh, that is a good it story. Was, it's a lot more funnier now than it was then. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. Oh my God, it's hilarious. So, Curtis, uh, how are you doing up there? We're, we're doing good. We're doing great. How do you? Didn't you have an event? Johnny said you had an event this past weekend. Did you have an event? Yeah, it wasn't a it wasn't a real big event. It's something we put together in a couple of weeks, you know. Okay. And it was preview the venue, and uh, we're ninety percent sure we picked this venue. Um, it's up in the hill country of Texas, and uh, some of the best uh, motorcycle roads. Well, they are the best motorcycle roads in Texas. They're called the Three Sisters. Okay, and, uh, we'll we'll be right up there on that. And people come from all over the United States to ride these roads. Wow. Um, 
man, this is a kick-ass venue. We got a little creek running through there, people swimming. You got places to swim and shit. Um, I, we're really working hard to get this done. We had about 35 people ride up there with us and check it out, hung out. We just kind of hung out up there and, and come back. But it, everybody's loving it, man. I think I think it's going to be kick-ass. Awesome. I, I definitely uh, want to go check that out. That's, that's on my bucket list, to get down there and hang out with the Texas Iron Crew and do the Three Sisters would be, you know. You could do that. Well, yeah. well, well, just be sure you bring aspirins, man. Aspirins? Aspirins. <laughs> yeah, because you're going to have a headache the next day. Oh, oh boy. yeah, I believe it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I believe it. I think we'll be doing some drinking. It's what he's uh uh, yeah, yeah it, does, it does happen. And you know what? I, I've heard about, you know, a lot of people, you know, doing the moonshine shit and everything. And they're doing, you know, the apple pie and uh, even the orange stuff and this and that. <laughs> well, we were partying up in this little town. I mean, it's 15 miles from, from where my new rally site is. And okay. uh, we're partying with these people in Camp Wood, Texas. <laughs> and they pull out this moonshine and it, I shit you not, it tastes like root beer, man. Wow! You, wow! You, you, you wanted you wanted some ice cream to go with it. It was that fucking good. Oh <laughs> really? I can imagine. Wow! Yeah, oh. I've never had uh, root beer moonshine before. <laughs> oh, it's beer moonshine. I would put ice cream in that. Why not? Oh. Uh, yeah, I'm telling you, it was, it was badass. Oh my <laughs> it's God. some of that shit that would hurt your feelings. So for sure, <laughs> my feelings. That drink hurt my feelings. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Oh my goodness! Oh man, that's great. So, Curtis, well, thank cool, you. Cool. you. Y'all have a great evening, man. We'll talk to y'all soon. All right. Oh, okay. Yeah, thank you very much, Curtis, for calling in. It's always good to hear from you. You got it, brother. Uh, all right. That's y'all Curtis. Take care. Bye bye. Texas Bye-bye. Iron. That was pretty funny shit. He that he woke very up funny. in the in the church parking <laughs> area, <laughs> uh, church <laughs> property. <laughs> He didn't say, though, if he was with that. He said he was with a girl. He was with that girl. Right, All right. right. I uh, want to be clear about that. We're going to try to go to commercial again. Let's see what happens here. We'll be right back. Okay. We're not going to commercial. <laughs> we'll go to commercial this way. Go to the idiot. Everybody has been a village idiot at least one point in their life. I don't think there's any day that I've walked out of here without having at least five laughing sets because the staff that we do pick here too, they're a little outside of the box. They definitely are, and that's how we like it. A lot of stuff we make here is from scratch. It's a very affordable menu. We're always running different specials. We do have the best happy hour on the whole entire strip. You'll be happy when you leave, and you're gonna wanna come back, and then now you come back, but you can tell your friends and bring them back with you. My chefs are amazing. They put their heart and soul to everything we do. They have a passion for cooking, like I have a passion for owning a bar and bartending, and we've all been bartenders at one point or another. These are my managers, and they're my backbone. Two years after initially opening in 2010, we expanded into the dining room, and now we open a new place in Oakdale, the Village Idiot Irish Pub. I got together with my partner, John, who started the Village Idiot Pub in Patchogue about five, five and a half years ago. A lot of regulars, a lot of local Oakdale people who were extremely happy to see us put out a good product and renovate the entire place. We wouldn't be here without our loyal customers and without that huge fan base, we wouldn't be here if not for them. So I do appreciate my lovely customers that come here. There's something for everybody here. You have the theater, and you have all the different restaurants and the bars, you have down by the water. It's really amazing to see this revitalization of this town. There's no stopping the village of Patchogue from getting any better than it already is. I've been riding these Long Island roads for over three decades now. Had a lot of different bikes, met a lot of riders, managed to love every minute of it. That is, until I came across a driver who wasn't paying attention. Or even worse, driving like I didn't exist. Like you, I've seen my share of the tragic results of motorcycle accidents. I know what to do in the aftermath. I'm Mike Levine Esquire, and I'm one of you. Get a lawyer who shares the road with you. Motorcycle Mike's your man.
And we are back. Don't that food look so fucking good there at the Village Idiot? It looks freaking good, too. And I ate there over the weekend, and it is, it is amazing. And also, if you mention Motorcycle Mayhem Radio, you will get 10% off your entire bill. So check that out. Plus, we give a quick shout out, shout outs to, of course, the Road Captain. As, a, as an app that every biker should own. And he will be at these events with us as well. So, uh, Carol City and uh, Vet City, the Road Captain will be there as well, hanging out and putting up his stuff and all that good stuff. Okay, cool. And also, um, what else? Yeah, he's doing really good with that, that app, by the way. So, definitely download the app. It's free right now. And... Uh, you know, you got to have it. So it's definitely a great app. And a quick uh, shout out to Cycle Source Magazine. Mm-hmm. Right? You think the number one uh, uh, biker well, magazine? In, um, in, in, old school? In our country, yeah. It's just go. It's a great motorcycle magazine. Well, yeah, they, he, they highlight real builders that are doing stuff. Like yeah. That stuff. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Strip Club Choppers. Give a shout out to them. Johnny Lang. And he's all over the country doing his uh, thing with his bikes and his shirts. And we also have Strip Club Chop is New York, which uh, the Mr. Road Captain and myself right. were involved with. And we'll be at all the New York events, and we're doing a few uh, out of state as well. So check us out, okay? So back to the show real quick. What? Back to what? Back to you. You were saying? Oh, what? I got nothing. What was I, what was I talking about? <laughs> yes, sir. Why do you do this to me <laughs> all the time, every <laughs> single Monday? I'm, I'm I want to take- ask our... our um, our, our, our listeners out there, their opinion, and they'll probably get right on the show page about it. That you know what we do two hour shows, right? Right. Sometimes you know we don't always have two hour stuff of material, and you know it slows down the show a little bit. We're thinking about going for an hour. What do you think? Just during riding season, because we're busy. Like right now, I'm itching to get out of here because I just got a text message that Mountain Man got the throttle cable on, right? And he wants to go for a ride, and I'm sitting on my ass here. Well, and I can go for a ride myself right now. I know. But you know what? We could. So we've been talking about doing an hour show, you know, and we'll see how that goes. Um, real quick, if anybody wants to call in again. Last chance. Last chance for romance. Give us a call. And I actually just want to put out real quick about uh, Wolf Wolfman's Biker Leather. Check out this guy. He's out in Lake Grove, New York, okay? He's got... Woman's apparel and jackets, men's leather jackets and stuff. He's got helmets. Although he's got, he actually has the smallest DOT helmet you can get, the lightest one. So check that out. All kinds of apparel. So he's a Wolfman Biker Leather at 335 Smithtown Boulevard, Lake Mount Conquer, New York. 631-578-7877. Check that out. Mm-hmm. And um, so you're gonna go riding tonight. Or? Thank you, Aaron. He totally votes for an hour in riding season. Okay. So wh- wh- are we at an hour yet? We're at an hour because you know what? my wet spot is needing to be on the seat. Really? I mean, my seat needs to have. Is that what I smell? No. Oh, that's not what you smell. That's what my license plate says for my motorcycle. I actually own my my bike plate. Okay. It says wet spot. Wet spot. Yeah. Ah, oh, very cool. Also, real quick. Oh, uh, you know what? They sent me a picture of the steaks. That's from uh, Paul. Those are Rio steaks. It, 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 Those are like, steaks you like steaks get in big. Rio de Janeiro. Yeah, son of a bitch. I'm starving now. Thanks, Paul. Right? I oh didn't my have God. any dinner either. And uh, one more thing I want to do. I know, Aaron. Thank you. I know you ride year-round. So we sadly can't here. I put this quick little video together. I'll show you real quick. This is for a Nightmare Custom Cycles. Check this out quick.
Good to video. We are back. I'm yelling at him. <laughs> yeah, she's yelling at me. Uh, well, that's nice. Nightmare Custom Cycles it, in, uh, what is it, Somerville, South Carolina. Yes, it is. And you know what? I, uh, I had the address pop up, but I took it off too fast. Um, I'll definitely play it again later. Well, they can go right on the. He's got a Facebook page, right? Just yes. Look for Nightmare Custom Cycles. In, Nightmare uh, Custom. Yep. He's got great pictures. Somerville, on South Carolina. And like I said, we'll be down there in November doing something with him. Nice. Um, real quick, we got a lot of stuff coming up, man. Uh, starting off with the nine eleven, the ride for nine eleven. That's Saturday, August eleventh, in Benson, North Carolina. Uh, we have uh, Camel City Bike Fest coming up. Mm -hmm. uh, the Vet City Motorcycle Music. Festival in Bowling Green, Kentucky. Uh, of course, Sturgis is August 8th. Right. All right. And we have the Abate uh, Camp Out August 18th. August 18th. I'm going to try to get to that. Cathedral Pines Park in Middle Island, New York. Okay. Yeah. That sounds like a fun time. Oh, my God. They do amazing stuff there. They're going to have a, you know, they, they do a bike contest. But one of the um, things that they do. Um, you know, biker games, you know, the typical old school biker games. It's like a musical chair version with motorcycles. Oh, shit. And a giant haystack in the middle. Right. They take bales of hay and make this huge haystack. And then they throw potatoes in the haystack. And the girls or significant others, whatever, ride side saddle on the backs of the motorcycles and they drive around the, the haystack. Right. And when the music stops, everybody that's a passenger jumps off and dives into the haystack to find the potatoes. Wow. And the ones that don't find the potatoes, they're out, and then they do another round. Excellent. That is so much fun. That sounds like a blast. And you get camping. You can get there. I believe you can check in on Friday, uh, Friday night. So you get camping Friday night. Uh, all day Saturday, they, they have the grill going and food for, sat for Saturday, uh, lunch, I believe, and dinner. Um, and then camping Saturday night, and then you can check out Sunday or pay extra through Cathedral Pines Park or whatever and extend your camping oh, after the event's over. But it's a nice park and it's all f it's open to everyone, not just uh, abate members. Okay. So and then the money raised there goes into the fund um, that they they give out yearly to that they make, you know, to the veterans and everything. Excellent. So it's great. That's uh, August 18th. So mm -hmm. check that out. Uh, oh, real quick, we totally forgot about Blackbird, oh, right? Yeah. Uh, that's blackbirdflightwear.com. Check them out, and they have some really, really awesome shirts because it is uh, uh, air show season as well. So right. they got these really cool shirts. Go on their website. Go check them out. Go get your shirts made up and uh, be a part of the, that really cool stuff as well. So Yeah, it's great. And uh, one more thing I want to do, The Rail, I want to say. They're good friends of mine. They have a lot of great bands playing at, in Smithtown, New York. I don't have the exact address, but they're in Smithtown, New York. New York. York. New York. You can find them at the rail or go to the Facebook page. Look for the rail. All right. So like we said, we're going to be doing, in the summertime hours, an hour show instead of two hours. Right. Because a lot of people want to go out there and ride. And like, again, around the country, it's still early. We start the show at eight. It can be five o'clock where they live. Right. You know, or seven o'clock, you know. Yeah. Get out and ride, so, man. It's a two-wheel thing. With the two-wheel thing is right. We're going to do an hour show. Unless something comes up and we do a little longer, like we're doing right now. We'll just explain mm -hmm. to you what we're doing. But uh, the new uh, summertime hours will be from 8 to 9, Eastern Standard Time. And again, the show is about the bike and lifestyle as far as, you know, what we do off the bike as well as on the bike. You know, right. Facebook groups and uh, bike rallies, bike fest, all that fun stuff. It's the real fun side of being a biker. That's what this show is about. And we want everybody to get together. And, and and it's actually a lot of people are meeting a lot of people. I know. You know what I mean? I think it's great. And, and the show the show has, has definitely got a lot of people together. And that's what exactly what I want to do with this show. All right. So go on our Facebook page, like us, follow us. Actually the repeats of the show will be on YouTube as well. So you can go on YouTube if you don't want to do Facebook, if you don't have Facebook, go on YouTube and check us out. You know, uh what do they call that? Uh Oh, subscribe, subscribe to, us. to the YouTube channel. To YouTube, right? Because every once in a while we might do live from YouTube. I right. mean, we did. We we're going flipping back and forth between YouTube and Facebook, but exactly. um, you know, depending on what we're doing, exactly. Um, so, yeah, and that's always good too. But uh, you know what? We appreciate everybody out there for watching the show and f sharing the show and following us and liking our pages. And we will see you next Monday. All right. So in the meantime, ride safe. And have a blast.